Amadil Kumar, with the help of this video, we will understand the steps involved to evaluate definite integrals using substitution. Example here is evaluate integral of square root of 4 plus 3x dx from 0 to 7. So we'll make a substitution here. We can write uh, u equals to 4 plus 3x, right? 4 plus 3x. In that case, du will be equals to 3 dx. Now we have to substitute for x. We could write 1 over 3 du equals to dx. Now whenever you make a substitution, the limits of, of the integral also change. And now let's figure out, if x is 0, what is the value of u? So we are substituting u equals to 4 plus 3x. Now, if x is equal to 0, in that case, u will be equals to 4, right? 4 plus 0 is 0. And if x is equals to 7, in that case, u will be equals to 4 plus 3 times 7, right? Which is uh, 3 times 7 is 21. And we can write this plus 4, 25. Now, whenever you make substitution, ensure that the limits of the integral are also accordingly changed. So we could write this, let me rewrite the question here again. It is from 0 to 7, square root of 4 plus 3x dx, right? So when we make this substitution in that case, the limits we see 0 to 7 will be changed to 4 to 25. We made a substitution u equals to 4 plus 3x. So we could write this as square root of u. dx is 1 over 3 du times 1 over 3 du. So this could be written as 1 over 3 integral of 4 to 25. You could write this as u to the power of half d. And the integral is 1 over 3 times and that gives you u to the power of when you add 1, you get 3 over 2, over 3 over 2, from 4 to 25, correct. Okay. Now this could be simplified, so you get 2 over 9, u to the power of 3 over 2, from 4 to 25, right. So this value cannot be uh, calculated. So what we have here is 2 over 9 within brackets u to the power of 3 over 2. So u is 25. So we'll do 25 to the power of 3 over 2 minus 4 to the power of 3 over 2 which is equals to, we can use the calculator to get this answer, right? So we have 2 over 9, 25 to the power of 3 divided by 2 minus 4 to the power of 3 divided by 2 equals to so what we get is 117, 117, and we'll multiply by 2 over 9, times 2 divided by 9 equals to 26. So the answer is 26. So we can write this as equal to 26. So that is how we could actually evaluate such integrals using substitution. Always remember that whenever you make a substitution accordingly, you should also change the limits for the integral. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.